What is going on, everybody? Sports expert here, and we do have some breaking news in the MLB. We have a trade, another trade, and it's involving pitching. So the Guardians and Rockies have made a deal. The, Ro the Guardians, they are sending starting pitcher Cal Quantrill to the Colorado Rockies in exchange for catcher Cody Huff, who is an A-ball. So the Guardians get an A-ball pitcher for a starting pitcher that had they had cut ties with a DFA them the other day, so they get off Cal Quantrill's deal there. So Quantrill is gone, and the Guardians get another depth piece in the organization. So that's what happens there. Cal Quantrill didn't pitch great this past year, was very solid in 2021 and 2022, just didn't work out enough for the Guardians to keep him with his $6.6 .6 million salary. The advanced metrics weren't very good, and they just felt like he wasn't worth that money. And one thing this can this tells me, him going to the Rockies, a team that needs pitching, of course, but a team that probably desperately needs any pitching they would want because it's, of course, field. That probably means there just wasn't much interest if he's going to the Rockies. I felt like the Rockies just kind of pounced on an opportunity where a guy just had no interest and the, they gave up an A ball catcher to get him. So Cody Huff was hitting about two. He hit with, for a 70 and 31 OPS with five home runs this past season in A ball. So. This guy, I mean, he's 23 years old. He's not great, he's not terrible, not a top 30 prospect, but he's some maybe a possible lottery ticket. He's a guy for the Cleveland Guardians again, a Cal Quantrill deal. So that's where they stand there. And the Guardians have now added three players this offseason and all catchers. Christian Bethencourt, Alfonso Rivas, and now Cody Huff. So I don't know what we're doing, but catcher after catcher, yay. So Cal Quantrill headed to the Rockies. I just don't know how this is a good fit for him at all. Because Coors Field, he's gonna he could get manhandled there, especially not being the uh, not being a strikeout guy. So much contact. It's just gonna be. I don't love it for Cal. I don't know what the Rockies see in Cal Quantrill, where they're like, oh, this guy's not gonna get plummeted here at Coors. I just don't know what the Rockies front office is doing right now. I think there's a lot of just uncertainty there. It's just a lot of weirdness, as I would say. I don't know, but that's kind of how I feel about the whole thing. But Cal Quantrill, you know, he has a track record, so I guess that's something that the Rockies were looking into. They'll take on a $6.6 .6 million salary. The Rockies actually wanted to spend money in like Paul DeLynn, so we have that for you. So, unfortunately for Cal, it was time to go. But, I mean, he was a great leader for this Cleveland Guardians team, and I'm going to give trade grades now. I'm going to give the Rockies a B. I'm going to give the Guardians a B-. minus. Because the Rockies get a starting pitcher, caliber starting pitcher, that could be a fourth, five, fifth guy for 6.6 .6 million. The Guardians get a low A pitcher for him. The Rockies barely win, although it's not really a trade group. Oh, they won, they lost, something like that. Just whatever. The Guardians were able to get something for him, so that's kind of all that matters after DFAing him. So I appreciate everyone being here, sports expert here. Please hit the subscribe button for you to the channel, turn on the post notification bell, like the video, comment your things. Liking the video and commenting helps us in the algorithm, helps me, helps everyone around on the on the platform for what they can find. So I appreciate that very much. I'm out guys, sports expert here, Cal Quantrill to the Rockies, peace.